America, America, God shed his grace on thee, and he crowned thy good with brotherhood from sea to shine America I cry for you you show you don't care by the things that you do you have destroyed the very air we need to breathe there are people living on the streets because of your greed we can't even drink our water or swim in our lakes. And American leaders, well, they've made too many mistakes. We must be careful of what foods we eat. Chemicals and pesticides destroy fish, fruit, and meat. You send billions of dollars to countries that are to the left and to the right in the name of democracy. Yet here in America, Children are starving. People have needs. At the time that I wrote this, we had no health benefits on jobs with low pay. Incomes on which politicians would not survive, not one day. I cry for you, America, each and every day. We will all be destroyed if we don't mend our ways. We're losing the greatness we worked hard to achieve. But because of the need to succeed based on greed, America, we have sown some bitter seeds. We must put back our trust in God and pray that we will learn to love each other as we must learn to love ourselves. Love is the key and the only way to change our society for tomorrow. But the process must begin today. I wrote that poem in 1989. From then till now, we find 9-11, thousands died and are now in heaven. 2001, we started a war that never should have begun. 2004, voting privileges went out the door disenfranchised citizens resembling that of 1864 after the Civil War. 2008, first African-American president who put forth much effort coming right out the gate, faced with much disdain, contempt, and sheer hate. Those with childlike behaviors that seem so out of place, all because of our president's race. 2011, here we go again. More instances of voter disenfranchisement, voter suppression over and over and over again. When will it end? America, I cry more today than I did yesterday. In 2016, we went from a president full of dignity, integrity, character, compassion, and so much grace to a misogynistic, lying, racist, demagogue, hate filled that is an international and national disgrace. There has been some form of evil every single day. Children in cages, millions have lost wages, a thousand are dying every single day. How much more can we take? Our democracy, our democracy, our democracy is truly at stake. Hate and greed, lust and pride continue to walk side by side. America, when will we learn? Our children, our future, should be our main concern. What's best for America as a whole, not just for those who hold the gold while standing on the backs and the necks of people of color, the young, the sick, 
the old. We must put back our trust in God and pray that we will learn to love each other as we must learn to love ourselves. Love is the key. Love is the key. Love is the key. And the only way to change our society for tomorrow. But the process must begin today. Today, 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 we must decide our fate. Tomorrow may be forever. Too late, too late. Don't let it be said too late. Oh, 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 oh.